Hey y'all, welcome back to my channel. Today's video is gonna be about the supplements that you guys have suggested in my comment section. So you guys know that I am a guinea pig when it comes to using any type of fertility supplements that may help me get pregnant. So I uh, got two different supplements in the comment section. One I wasn't able to find, but one of them I was. And also I am in a, a TTC uh, group on Facebook. And so I've seen a lot of women were using certain supplements as well. So I decided to go and pick up two things and give it a try this month. Today I am on cycle day two, which is, you know, guys, like I honestly feel good about it. I'm okay. Like I didn't feel sad or anything like that. Like, I know you guys, um, from my last video, we talked about Nick wanting to take a break and, you know, not be trying. So we kind of just went with the flow. We really didn't try. I still tracked, um, but we really didn't, you know, we didn't, I wouldn't say that I really tried this month or yeah, this month. So again, today is cycle day two and I feel really good about it. And we're going to just go ahead and still go with the flow of things and try out these new supplements and see how they do. So if you guys are interested in the two supplements I'm about to talk about, then stay tuned. So the first item that we're going to talk about today is Pre-Mama. This is a fertility supplement drink mix. So I'm going to be opening this box and trying this drink mix out for the very first time with y'all. So um, on the box it says that it is a healthy natural ovulation support with Mayo Inositol and uh, may improve uh, egg quality. And it says it's gluten-free, vegan, non-GMO, and all natural. So that is um, incredible to start off with. Um, one of the things that drew me drew me to this is because it may improve egg quality. Um, and on our last video, I did tell you guys that the doctor did say that my egg quality was not that great for my age. And I am 33, I'm gonna be 34 this year. So he did tell me that my egg quality wasn't all that great. It was pretty low for my age. And so so I am for anything that's gonna help my egg quality at, at any cost. Um, so the instruction says to drink once daily, mix one packet per day with at least 12 ounces of water with or between meals, stir or blend well to complete, completely dissolve. So again, here's the box here if you guys wanna see it and if you like this video, maybe wanna try it, this is what it looks like. So we're gonna go ahead and open this up. Also guys, it does say that it has um, 200 mcgs of folic acid. Um, I haven't really been wanting to use folic acid. I've been wanting to use the folate um, since somebody told me that that was better for me, but I mean, I'm still down to try this drink. So when you open the box, this is kind of what it looks like in the inside, just the packets. And this box says it comes with 28 packets. So most people's cycle is about 28 days long. Mine's is 25. I've been keeping up for the last six months um, and it's been about 25 days, so not really long. So here's the cute little packet that it comes in. So very small. It still gives you the directions individually on the back here. So this is gonna be one daily serving. All right, guys, so I do have my water here. Normally, um, I don't drink bottled water, but because I wanna make sure that I'm putting it in at least uh, 12 ounces of water, I just grabbed a bottle of water. I drink alkaline water all day, every day. If you guys don't drink alkaline water, make sure you um, check it out, see what the benefits are. It's so yummy, I absolutely love it, and I wouldn't have any other way to drink any other water. But because I am doing this review and trying this for the first time, We'll drink bottled water. All right, so I'm opening the packet here. So it does have a little line across where it's easy for you to tear. And also it says tummy safe. Um, one of the things that I have noticed that some fertility drugs are hard on the tummy, like makes you sick to your stomach, make you wanna throw up, oh, just make you have headaches, I mean everything. So this said is safe on the tummy. And so it's supposed to have no taste at all. I forgot where I saw that. Oh yeah, it says unflavored. So we're gonna try that out and let's see. Oh, I didn't open it good enough. And let's see if it has a smell since it's 
unflavored. Mm. I don't know, weirdly, it smelled kind of like cake mix to me or maybe I'm just tripping, but not a strong smell at all. I don't know if y'all can see, but it's just a little bit of powder. All right, so we're going to pour this in. This bottle is 16 ounces, but I'm gonna go ahead and pour it in here. Pour it all in. And then, so it's in, and you can kind of see it right here, so I'm about to shake it up. And shake it up good. All right, I'm gonna shake it up good so we don't see it. And I still kinda like see some flakes in here, so I'm gonna keep shaking it up. All right, I'm gonna give this just a second to dissolve and see what it looks like um, since it's unflavored. I'll be right, right back, so I'm back. And, oops, still did. All of um, the supplements, the little powder stuff that was in here has dissolved. Let's try it and see how it goes. All right, guys, so it does look like it is unflavored. Um, yeah, definitely does not have a flavor to it. I'm not really tasting a um, you know how you get like an aftertaste? It doesn't really have an aftertaste to me as well. So, you know, some of us have, well, we all have different taste buds. So, um, it didn't taste like anything to me. And also, it doesn't have an aftertaste as well. So, so far, so good for this. So, I'm going to try to make sure that I drink this once a day um, in 16 ounces of water. I'm sorry, 12 ounces of water What is what it says. Um, so, if you are interested in this supplement, here it is again the pre-mama fertility supplement drink and I will most definitely um, type the link here so that you guys can click on it and see if you like it also let's talk price for this um, price for this was $19.99 back to the price so this pre-mama I think was about either tw anywhere from 25 to 30 dollars for this i think it was definitely like 30 something dollars um for 28 packets of this uh, pre-mama um but what i've noticed is i just go on ebay because this stuff is so expensive and if it doesn't work if i don't like it excuse me i don't want to spend 30 dollars on something i could buy some makeup or something so i don't want to spend that kind of money on something that i'm just trying out for the first time and may not like so when it comes to like clear blue test strips or this or any other thing that i want to try i go on ebay and i order it that way so for the pre-mama again it's about 30 dollars um i went on ebay and i got it for 19.99 which was pretty good and it was three dollar shipping so total 23 dollars for this drink mix um if you are interested i would definitely go on ebay and check to see what the prices are for this before going into a store and paying full price which is like about 30 dollars um i don't know what you guys choose to do with $30, but I choose to do something totally different um, with $30 um, versus spending it full price for something that I don't know if it's gonna work or agree with my stomach or how it's gonna affect me in any kind of way. So I'd rather pay a little bit less or less than I can. Um, so yes, it is a thumbs up to this fertility supplement drink. Um, no flavor and no aftertaste. And again, I will definitely in the information section Section, I will go ahead and add the information we just discussed and also the link to it. Alright guys, so I'm back. Um, so before I get into the next supplement that I am going to try, um, lately I have been having excruciating uh, pelvic pain where my right fallopian tube is and it's been so painful like wanting to go to the ER. Um, I mean just I was afraid and one day I was so afraid that my fallopian tube had ruptured and I just oh my god I was just freaking out I tried to take some pain medicine try heating pad 
nothing was helping. It let up a little bit, but nothing was helping. So um, it is Operation Clear the Tube, guys. Like seriously, like this uh, fallopian tube has been giving me the blues. So I have kind of decided that if if my tubes aren't clear by the end of the year and I'm still having difficulty, we might have to get a girl on out. Like she might just have to get that snip snip because I can't deal with this pain. And it could, you know, it's just causing, it's just, it could be causing me not to get pregnant. Like I feel like in my heart that the egg is really pushing through trying to, but it just can't go nowhere. And so, yeah, it's, it's, it's about time. Um, so yeah, I'm gonna try to see, you know, how everything goes by the end of the year and we'll talk to the doctor and see what we're looking at. But the next um, supplement we're going to try is a supplement that um, one of my subbies uh, suggested in the comment section. It's called Astragalus. All right, and I got this um, from Vitamin Shop. And this is a herb and it comes with 100 capsules. So just to uh, tell you guys about this, and I'm just reading off my notes, um, it says the astra astragalus is an herb that stimulates the immune system and it is also used in tradition, traditional Chinese medicine to treat tubal blockage for restoring female fertility. So I'm gonna show you guys um, what this looks like. I'm not gonna take it um, right now, but this is what it looks like pretty nice size peel and it has you know just the powder in it um, guys when you um, take this make sure you take it with plenty 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 of water make sure you wash it down because these are the type of uh, supplements that you burp and all that powder come back up and it's disgusting okay um, so I'm going to be taking astragalus along with the serapeptase and um, Serapeptase, I have to take that at night now because it just has not been working well with my stomach, like make me really sick and I'm not feeling good for the rest of the day. Um, so yeah, thank you to the subby that um, suggested that. Hopefully it helps me out a little bit. Um, if you guys are interested, again, this is what it is called, astragalus, and I will put it at the um, down in the section so that you can see um, and link it to the store from Vitamin Shop. Um, the next thing is golden seal. Now, I found golden seal. I was taking this um, once I first found out that my tubes were um, blocked, but uh, I stopped taking it. And so, because the pain had went away. And I was really taking this to help with my tubes and also for the pain. So, this next thing is golden seal extract. And I got this from Walmart. Actually, a good price. It was like $3. Um, I got it on sale. Um, so with the golden strat, uh, I'm sorry, golden seal, um, this herb is an anti-inflammatory. It heals any infection in the reproductive system, reducing pain of pain. I cannot talk today, y'all. Reducing pain and inflammation of foreign tissue growth and prevent um, scar tissue. So this is amazing. I remember taking this um, once I found out that I had the block tubes and when I was having the pain, this helped with the pain. Um, I'm trying to see where it says how many to take. Well, it doesn't really have any instructions, but I was taking this twice a day, um, every day, along with the serapeptase, and I felt like some things were changing. I felt the little tingles down there um, in my fallopian tube. Like, I felt like it was trying to, you know, help. Also, I think this helps with you have an upper respiratory infection as well. Because um, I had one and I started taking this and it cleared it out as well. So, this herb is amazing for um, infections, any infections that you have. And also can help with the scar tissue. So, those are the two new supplements that I am going to be taking. Um, again, I will post them in the, the section where the information goes and also I'll try to link um, the link on where I got them for you guys. Um, still drinking on my pre-mama. Still no aftertaste at all. I'm freaking amazed. Um, but yeah guys, um, so those are my previews on the medication or the supplements that I'm taking right now um, once Nick gets ready we will discuss what our next few months of TTC is going to be like um, so stay tuned <laughs> okay guys we're back 
I thought Nick was gonna start the vlog off, but yeah, he's he's not feeling it. So yeah, we're back and we're about to talk about what's next for us. So babe, take it away. Well, pretty much, um, she wanted me to elaborate on pretty much where I am as far as both of us as a whole are. Um, I haven't get, I haven't given up as far as where we are. I've just decided that it all happened in God's timing, and you know, there's nothing I can really do to really make that change. Um, Ultimately, you know, God's plan is better than our own, but uh, I can't sit here and say that it's not hard. You know, you put the work in and try to make something happen that doesn't happen. Um, it's hard. It, it makes it seem like everything you did is in vain, but in all actuality, it's not. It's just that, uh, you know, sometimes things take longer than expected, and sometimes, you know, God wants to see how deep your commitment is, you know. You, you say you committed, but the first sign of trouble, you know, the doubt starts to set in, the giving up, the fear starts to set in, and, you know, how can you really say your commitment is, you know, what it is if the first sign after you commit to God, the first sign of you trying something, it doesn't work your way. Um, I've just come to learn that, um, the, the truth and the lesson in it all is to keep trying and keep pressing even when the world or anything else tells you no or it doesn't look like it's going to work uh, you really just can't stop or give up so where I'm pretty much at is is that I'm not going to say we're just aggressively I'm aggressively trying to have a child or conceive I'm just pretty much going back to putting it in God's hands and just resting at ease on that if God promises you something, the rest assured that it's coming. But uh, like most humans, like most of us, you know, we want we want it when we want we want it now. You know, I ain't trying to wait. I'm doing all this extra stuff and, and work now. But you don't get the blessings of God by doing stuff or by doing certain things. Your commitment, your your connection, your your bond, your relationship with Him unlocks the blessings that He has for you. Uh, not by what you do in the world. So um, right now we're not, I'm not necessarily trying, but I'm not trying to prevent either. Um, the first time we got pregnant, we weren't looking to have a child. I wasn't, I'm not saying we're not, we weren't trying at that time, but we were just enjoying being a married, a, new, a newly married couple. We were just having fun. We were just, you know, pursuing our goals, building a, a foundation. And it happened. And somewhere along the line, we got away from that. Um, experiencing your first loss of a child is never easy. It throws you into this mindset and this loop that, okay, it happened this time and didn't work. So we got to get back to make sure it happens the second time. And you really get caught up in forgetting about the fact that you're married, uh, that you still have a partner to look after. You still have a wife or a husband to try to enjoy your life with them. You really can't just forget about your marriage because you haven't succeeded in becoming parents. And at some point we reached that point where we were so fixated on having a kid that we weren't taking care of the needs of each other. Um, this does put a damper on your sex life, it does. Michelle doesn't think it does, but I do. Um, it's just one of those things to where if the only time you're having sex, even though sex is enjoyable, but if the only time you're just tr having sex is just to try to have a baby, mentally and emotionally, it takes away the connection of you two as a whole. Um, you know, so I think that in this particular moment, we're just trying to enjoy our sex life more. We're just trying to enjoy each other more. We're just trying to build and somewhere along the line I feel like when we reach that point God feels that we need to be the baby will happen I don't think that we're not going to be parents I just think that uh, somewhere along the line we lost sight of what was really important and 
ultimately that's me just being the best husband I can be, being the best provider I can be, <clears throat> and getting my relationship where God needs it to be. Because I'm not gonna lie, I was doing a lot of things because I felt like if if I was doing these things, God would make a move or make a change in my life, and that's not exactly the case. And I'm pretty sure a lot of you know that you don't earn your way into heaven. There's there's no way you can just earn your way into heaven. It's not done by that. It's not earned by merit. So right now, uh, my biggest things right now are just reestablishing that connection with God so I can understand his purpose for my life. But also uh, making changes to myself so I can be the, the best husband I can be and a better husband I can be. Uh, so that's pretty much that's where I'm at. And also, um, getting back on a diet that really did good for me and getting healthy. Um, because at some point in my mind, I wouldn't admit to myself that I was depressed. But if you, if you looked at the habits that I formed after not succeeding and trying to conceive, you would think I was depressed. My eating habits were all over the place. Um, my stress level was at all time high. Um, you know, so at this point, I'm trying to find peace and where I am, where we are right now, and also just trying to build my connection with God and just make my my marriage stronger. Um, that's pretty much the priority. The baby will happen. Um, I'm just not in the place where I'm just act aggressively pursuing it because I've just reached a point I don't think it'll happen that way. I think that I, for me, the message I got from God is I need to take my hands off of it and give it to him. So wait, okay. Well, first I want to say that I'm proud. I'm glad that you did mention that of, of the depression part that you went through because it's good ladies for you to understand and know that we're not the only part that or not the only ones that feel the um the hard part of this process or the emotional part of the process the fellas do too so um it's good that you know men express how they feel as well as along with us you know this process is hard it's not easy um and then to piggy piggyback off what you just said so when you say like you feel like God telling you to take your hands off of it. So do you feel like you shouldn't be trying aggressively? So like if the doctor says, okay, well, this month I want y'all to try this or this medication, do you say no to that because you don't want to try aggressively and you feel like you need to take your hands off of it? Like, what does that mean? For me, I think what it means is, for me, what I get from it was that at some point in the line, I'm doing all I can to make this happen and I'm forgetting the fact that everything goes through God. God is the ultimate deciding factor. God makes all the choices. God decides what's best and when it when it's best for your life. And me as a human, I will say 98% of the time I don't get that. You know, but it was like I was told God's thoughts are not our thoughts and his ways are not our ways. So I was told that God always, God never promised an answer or a reason why things happen, but he did promise to be there with you through every step of the way. And if God promises you something, then rest assured, you can take that to the bank. At some point along the line during this journey, I stopped relying on God to make the way and I started doing it my own way. I started looking to the internet instead of looking to God. I started looking to articles instead of to God. I started looking to advice from other people instead of looking for advice from God. So, you know, I'm all for taking all those things to try to put my body in the best condition to conceive. But at the same time, I'm also just allowing God's will to happen. Um, and that means me still praising him and still giving him the glory even when my efforts don't succeed absolutely even when um, one of my favorite uh, speakers said that uh, can you say yes even when God says no and for me uh, up until this point I, was, I, I couldn't give you the answer to that if in all honesty 
my answer, no, I can't still say yes. I can't still say yes, even when God says no. Because my actions dictated that. And I felt bad because God has brought me from so much over the 29 years of my life. And some of the things I shouldn't have never made it through. Some things I honestly don't know how. Um, there was a situation that happened a long time ago that I could have lost my life had God not spared me in a situation where others were hurt. And at, a, at, that, at that moment in my life, I didn't understand why God spared me. For me, that answer to question pertaining to this current situation. I don't think God is done with me yet. And for me to know that and for me to realize that I have to apply that same realization to this situation. God brought me through this, through that. When I needed it at the most crucial time of my life, God provided it. So what makes me think or anyone else think that God won't provide this to you? And that's just where I'm at with it right now. Um, I'm not going into this with the mindset, okay, you're ovulating on this day and this day, we need to make sure that we have some sex on this day. That's not where I'm at with it. At this point, I'm just, I'm trying to have fun in our sex life. I'm trying to enjoy. Lust is a beautiful thing in your marriage. It should always be there. So, at this point, I'm just trying to enjoy where I am in my marriage. I'm just trying to enjoy that I have a beautiful wife. I'm just trying to enjoy the life that I'm given, and I'm trying to make strides to improve myself so that when the day comes, I am the best version of myself, and I'm not who I am right now. Who I am right now is emotionally, mentally, I'm fragile just because of the fact that some of the things that have happened, I've never personally dealt with. I've, I've held on to them. I've said I'm okay, but in all actuality, I'm not. And as an adult, there's always going to be things that happen that you're going to go through. So for me not dealing with one situation and just piling it up and throwing it away and acting as if I'm, I'm good, when something else happens, I'm going to keep doing the same thing. It's going to pile on, it's going to pile on, it's going to pile on until I explode. And my wife experienced that for me. And I became somebody I didn't like. I honestly didn't. And so the mindset that I'm trying to change is it's okay to be hurt by some things. Um, it's okay to release those things so you don't hold on to them because ultimately the people you love the most are going to pay for the mental aspect or the damage that you're just allowing to happen. And I just can't allow that to happen to my wife anymore. I refuse to, so... Uh, right now, I'm not trying to be all up on her. You need to track. I'm not trying to be up on her. You need to make sure you do this. Where I am at with her is I want her. Michelle is a fitness nut. She likes all this herbs and spices and gym and all that shit. I, I'm not for it. Don't cuss on here. I'm not I'm for it. You just gave us a whole sermon and then going to say she like all that shit. Like, really, sir? This is this is just me. This is just me. But I'm she she wants to get she before I met her, she was this real gym junkie. I wouldn't. I ain't gonna lie to you. So matter of fact, I think we should go to the gym today. I think we should and get on an elliptical. The elliptical will get you in shape. Like seriously. Since you're talking about how I'm a gym junkie, like, and those are our next steps because you're going to start taking the vitamins, get back on your vitamin regimen and um, a diet, possibly keto. And also, I hooked you up because yesterday I bought the black seed oil in the tablets or the capsules. So you don't have to drink the oil, so you're all set. That's going to help your spermies get in line because while you're not trying to aggressively aggressively i am trying for the both of us so yeah you can wipe that look off your face bro I'm going to bed. Yeah. yes you are and just you just finished talking about the lord and how the lord done guided you this way so quick cussing okay now cussing don't make me less of a saint i i didn't say that 
I did not say that. You just gave us a whole sermon. A whole sermon, That's not a brother sermon. That, that's, that's real life experience. That's experience. That's, that's those are trials. Those are, those Tribulations, are everything, everything that a, a normal person would go through when things happen. Hallelujah. Amen. So, I mean, I ain't going to no gym today. I ain't going to lie to you. I ain't going we to We going. We getting ready to start going to the gym on Sunday. You no, on go. Sat on Saturdays. We we are a team. We both gonna be going to the gym, get on the elliptical, get on the stairmaster. We about to do what we gotta okay. do. We finna make it. So this is what I do. We can go. And you gonna and I bring the... a towel and a water bottle and a stopwatch so I can support you. No, you gonna be doing it too. If anybody gonna have a stopwatch, it's gonna be me. It's levels and to I'll this. Get, well, and I ain't you, that. You gonna have to get back on the level. And, Anyway, step y'all. Step at a time. Step at so, so, to finish out, what's next for us? The next update. <laughs> the next update of the video. I bet she tell you I didn't go. No. I bet she tell you that. He ain't going. So, y'all, next thing. I ain't going no gym. Okay. It's Saturday. I gotta next, go to work. Next thing is, so... We're going to just kind of try naturally, guys, this video about to be long, but we're going to try naturally um, for the next two months, and by the end of May, um, I plan on going back in for a fertility workup just to see um, if anything has changed, gotten better, or gotten worse, and then also we're going to be all set for our third and final IUI, and hopefully that works, but that is what's next for us. Brother Nick done gave y'all a whole sermon. Why you be Brother Nick? I ain't no pastor. <laughs> brother Nick. I'm just Nick. No brother. Brother Nick. No brother. No, pastor no deacon, Nick. No elder, no pastor. Nunnery. Pastor Nick. Yeah, I would know if God Nicholas. had to, I would know if God had that. You always giving a word. I'm from time. Memphis. What they got to do with it? And I'm in Nashville. You know what? Who gonna let me be a pastor? To think about it. The people, I went to a church in Memphis, and he was preaching. The preacher was preaching and was saying the N-word and would say the cuss word, too. So maybe it is a Memphis thing. But we ain't gonna even talk about that. In the next video, y'all, we're gonna discuss Nick going to the gym. He gonna get in this gym with me, and we gonna make you do what he Oh, do. I'm gonna get in there. It ain't today. It may not be today, but you're gonna go. You see that? You see that? She 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 finally. I got accepted. other stuff to do, but you can she go accepted. to the, you she, can go you, to. You see the, that, right? She accepted. Whatever. Anyway, guys, that is going to be the end of the video. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you enjoyed this video, why you always gotta do that? If you enjoy this video. <laughs> if you enjoyed this video make sure you give it a big thumbs up and also subscribe guys we're doing so good with our subscribers so thank you guys so much it makes me know it lets me know that you guys are enjoying the content that i'm putting out so make sure make sure that you uh hit the bell um so that you'll know when we have a new video coming out and you want to close that first she know who running this. Like, share, subscribe. Hit the bell on the side. See you on the next ride.